Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts New Cross Nation. And today is just the usual announcement. We're going over everything that's going on for this week. Um, it's mainly going to be VIP. That's typically what Mondays are going to be about. But this week is slightly different. Uh, in which case, we do have our monthly competitive raid week uh, going on this month as well. Now, of course, the prizes for this week's competitive raid week aren't nearly as exciting as they were for last month with the Union armor that we got. But in terms of what the accessories actually do for you this time, there's two different things we can get this time for this week. You can actually get these like little sunglasses goggle goggles things uh, from the raid boss boards, and they provide a plus five Omega raid boss perk. And from the, it's like party or solo ranking, one of the two, I believe it's party ranking. You can get these little like charity, not hats, but you know, little, little charity accessories that sit on top of your head. And they provide a plus six skill perk. Now it's it's not the most exciting thing. I do love myself some charity avatar parts. Uh, but in terms of like actual skill perks, it's, it's a fairly decent amount of skill perk. It's not plus three at least, but I mean... It's, it's plus six, and there's starting to become quite a lot of plus six skill perks at this point in time. But other than that, let's talk about the rest of the VIP that we got for this week. So, pretty much everything that we're getting this week is almost the same exact stuff we got last week. Um, we got the mirror quests. Uh, we got, we're getting the gems. I don't think we got gems last time. Um, we're getting the magic brooms. It's pretty much standard stuff. We're getting Master Dano again. I think this is the fourth or fifth week, I believe. Uh, so there's only like what maybe like one or two weeks left after this one for Masters and EX Plus if you haven't picked them up already. And starting this week, we're also getting the Toon Axel and Pluto along with 1,400 extra jewels. Uh, it's it's starting to look like my theory that I had at the beginning of this month is pretty much starting to look kind of correct in how uh, I think they're pretty much trying to give us 1,400 extra jewels uh, for each VIP for this entire month. Um, primarily to help, like, keep up with the amount of medals that are just, just popping up, uh, in banners in the store and whatnot, so. Now, I'll be going over the Toon, Axel, and Pluto medal analysis in a later video, um, but just like always, I'll try and have the article up first beforehand, uh, so I would suggest either, if you're not in my Discord or don't have me on Twitter and whatnot, uh, maybe checking out my website on a somewhat regular basis to see if I've updated it anytime soon uh, for the meta analysis. Uh, but other than that, that was last night's announcement uh, in terms of what we got for this week. Now, the next thing I actually want to talk about, and I figure I might as well just do in this video, is give you guys some advice about the Lexius Plus uh, falling price deal that we have in the store right now. Because I know I got some questions about it. Uh, I kind of answered some of the topics already in my meta analysis, if you want to go ahead and check that out. However, what I want to tell you right now is that pretty much here is the uh, here's the overall advice that I can give you guys on whether or not to get Lexius Plus, um, or whether or not you should get Lexius Plus over stained glass medals and such. Uh, this is my overall advice. Essentially, you kind of fall into two categories, basically. The first one being, and this one's probably going to apply mostly to veteran players, is that if you already have FFRK Terra or Warrior Light, you can probably most likely get away with not having Lexius Plus, because the only reason you would want Lexius Plus is because he's primarily because of the fact the only reason you would honestly really want Lexius Plus if you already have Warrior of Light is that he's just he's going to be used as a reverse version of Warrior of Light. Okay, you're not going to really use him too much outside of uh, those special really hard events like Organization 13 events and where like you really need those counters and you really need a hard hitting metal that does the same thing too. Uh, just similar to Warrior of Light and Terra. You're not going to really use them outside too much outside of the situations or if you happen to come across like an upright uh, resistant enemy, for example. Having his ability only last for his own attack really puts a lot of restrictions on him and just makes Warrior of Light and Terra a lot more versatile to use compared to Lexius Plus. Now, for the second group, uh, this pretty much will most likely apply to everybody else who's not a veteran who doesn't have Warrior of Light or Terra already, which is essentially going to be that you most likely might not have FFRK Terra or Warrior of Light, primarily because of the fact that A, you weren't able to get high enough in the scorings um, or rankings for a high score challenge to win yourself one, 
uh, or you didn't pull it from the, 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 the banner during the FFRK event, or two, you're a somewhat new player who's only been, who just recently joined within like the last month or two or something, okay? You probably fall into like one of those sections most likely. In which case, if you don't have FFRK Terra or your Light, or even Scrooge McDuck too, because Scrooge McDuck does provide plus five counters too, which is fantastic. If you don't have one of those three medals, then you might want to consider getting Lexius Plus purely because of the fact that he's probably going to end up being uh, one of the main medals you're going to want to use and need to use against future really hard events uh, such as like the organization 13 events this is only the second organization 13 event that global has had so far but from what i'm seeing so far uh i can pretty much assume that every single organization 13 member that we're going to fight against is going to have counters is going to have a lot of hp so having a metal that can do a lot of damage while providing counters at the exact same time is going to significantly help you guys out a lot now in terms of like whether or not you should pull for lexius plus compared to a stained glass metal uh if you remember back to some of my previous videos uh i did suggest that you try and get at least one upright and one reverse stained glass metal if possible uh and even better if you can pair that up with a Kyrie Shion EX you're pretty much set for like uh the majority of the game uh as of right now as long as you have either Kyrie Shion EX one of the two it doesn't matter and you have one upright stained glass metal and one reverse stained glass metal those three metals alone will literally set you up on every single keyblade in the game which is all you need for right now and if you're like if you're like a beginner player or like intermediate player as well um, so as long as you get those three down you're good uh, however if you happen to be stuck between trying to figure out if you should uh, get that stained glass metal or the Lexius plus um, this is what I think about it now this is not set in stone so take take what I'm about to say with a grain of salt but because of the fact of how high impact these stained glass metals are going to be uh, for now and the future they're practically I'm expecting them to practically be like the uh, the Kyrie Shion EX for the tier 8 medals so in that case I'm kind of expecting them to come back in the future uh, and this is where I said take it with a grain of salt because like I can be wrong about this uh, but I'm expecting them to come back in like returning uh, banners and such in the future for the stained glass medals whereas this Lexigus plus banner only comes once a year okay this is the only time we're gonna see lexius plus uh for probably the next year until like near the end of the whole organization 13 event finishes in which case they might bring back all those organization 13 banners that's kind of what they did last time um with the last organization 13 rotation uh so that's what i'm expecting for this one as well so Take that into consideration if you happen to be in that position. But other than that, that's it for today, guys. I'm trying to see if I can pump out as much as I can this week to try and keep up. I'm slowly getting there, uh, and I'm slowly getting back to like a somewhat regular schedule now again. Uh, but other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Martini Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.